chicken again? We have chicken every day. I'm tired of chicken. Yes, KFC has some finger licking good fried chicken, but there are some things to stay away from. Here are 10 KFC items you should never order under any circumstances. Famous Bowl. You guys smell that? It smells like that new Famous Bowl at KFC. Unfortunately, this filling item is sort of famous for being an unappetizing addition to KFC's menu. Separately, the ingredients that make up the Famous Bowl aren't a problem. The bowl includes a list of popular items such as fried chicken, mashed potatoes, cheese, and gravy. These should add up to a delicious meal, but instead, you get one of the KFC items you should never order. Like most recipes, KFC's Famous Bowl is only as good as the ingredients that are used, and something equally important, the execution. The chicken chain does chicken and mashed potatoes for a living, so as you might expect, the problem is more in the execution of the Famous Bowl. For one thing, the bowl is topped with gravy, a lot of gravy. Gravy. If you're not careful, gravy has a way of making a dish too salty and too soggy. The chicken, mashed potatoes, and cheese are already salty, so the extra gravy makes the dish a sodium bomb you'd be better off avoiding. You could ask for the gravy on the side or ditch it altogether, but it probably can't rescue this promising but disappointing dish. Barbecue Sandwich Barbecues like family. You might wonder, why did KFC wait until 2018 to introduce the Smoky Mountain Barbecue Sandwich? A fried chicken sandwich with barbecue sauce sounds like a good idea. It turns out the better question is, why did KFC bother with this sandwich at all? KFC employees have been asked about the chain's barbecue sandwich, and a lot of the responses were less than kind. Some of the former employees basically said that KFC sometimes uses old chicken for the barbecue sandwich that the company doesn't think it can sell to customers in another form. What? For what it's worth, KFC would almost certainly deny this unappealing allegation. The former employees go on to say that the questionable chicken is soaked in barbecue sauce for a while in order to perk it up before it's used for the sandwiches. If the former employees are telling the truth, then there's no reason to order a sandwich like this in the first place. KFC has plenty of ways to eat fried chicken, including wings, breasts, thighs, and tenders. Potato Salad It's just potatoes and mayonnaise. Potato salad is a classic picnic side dish that goes great with hot dogs, hamburgers, and fried chicken. On the downside, however, this hearty side dish can be problematic, since the amount of mayonnaise used can vary widely depending on the particular recipe. Some people like a lot of mayo, while others enjoy potato salad that is more vinegar-based. KFC's potato salad recipe seems to include generous amounts of mayo and vinegar, as well as some pickle juice for good measure. This might add up to an appealing dish for some people, but it definitely adds up to a very salty side with nearly 300 milligrams of sodium in a small serving size. Fast food meals are usually loaded with more than enough salt to last you for a few days, and this potato salad would definitely add significantly to your recommended daily allowance of sodium. Is that good? It sounds bad. However, salt is far from the only problem with this potato salad. The generous amounts of mayo contained in a serving of KFC's potato salad adds 28 grams of fat and 340 calories to your meal. Nashville hot chicken. Oh my god! Ah, 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 hot. Oh, spicy. This spicy KFC menu item looks like it would be a delicious addition to the menu, but looks can be deceiving. KFC likes to highlight the hot sauce and the pickles that are the signature ingredients of its Nashville hot chicken. Like a great tune is meant to complement stirring lyrics, the hot sauce is meant to complement the chain's famous fried chicken. Unfortunately, somewhere along the way, this plan went a little bit off the rails. KFC's standard fried chicken is seasoned with the Colonel's famous 11 herbs and spices, and most people who eat this chicken think it has a lot of flavor and like it the way it is. Enough is enough! Drenching tasty fried chicken with hot sauce and pickles might be perfection for some people, but for many, it turned out to be kind of overkill. Sometimes companies forget that changing something isn't the same as improving it. Overdoing its attempt at spicy fried chicken instead of improving it is the reason Nashville hot chicken is one of the KFC items you should never order under any circumstances. The chicken chain standard fried chicken recipe recipe already has what most customers would say is the right amount of spiciness or they wouldn't keep coming back for more. Wings 
That's right, chicken wings. Chicken wings are a favorite snack at sports bar and Super Bowl parties everywhere. Because KFC makes its money selling chicken, it only makes sense that the fast food chain would want to try its hand at selling chicken wings too. It's almost a shame to report that the chain's attempt at chicken wings has flown the coop. This is a little surprising, because chicken wings shouldn't be hard to make. This is especially true for a cracked chicken outfit like KFC, where one reviewer describes the wings as looking old and slimy. Not cool! This is not the description the fast food chain was hoping for when it decided to get into the wing game. This is the kind of criticism that can doom a product. When it comes to chicken wings, the quality of the sauces and spices that are used can make or break them. Not all sauces are created equal, so they must be chosen with care. When someone describes the sauces as making the chicken wings slimy, you can be pretty sure something went wrong at KFC HQ somewhere along the way. The good news is that decent chicken wings aren't hard to find or to make for yourself at home. There's no reason to even have to consider getting them at KFC unless you're a glutton for punishment. The next time you visit your local KFC, you'll be better off sticking to the fried chicken. Corn. His favorite food is corn. Perhaps this negative reaction really isn't fair to corn, because most people aren't really thinking about things like corn when they decide to go to a fast food restaurant. People visit their favorite chain for some good tasting food, which usually ends up being food that is generally bad for them. Corn isn't bad for you, but it's not exactly health food either. If you're going to offer corn as a side dish at a fast food restaurant, then you have to come through with a serving of crisp corn that is flavorful but isn't too salty. Mushy salty corn is a complete waste of calories that should be shunned. Unfortunately, this popular grain that is often treated as a vegetable is fairly high in carbohydrates. But if you're looking to eat more carbohydrates the next time you visit your local KFC, you might as well pick something a lot tastier, such as a biscuit or an extra serving of mashed potatoes. At least these menu items aren't masquerading as vegetables. Indeed. Indeed. A salad with some fresh greens, tomato, and cucumber makes sense if you want healthy vegetables. It would also make sense to avoid KFC's corn because it's pretty much the opposite of just that. Chocolate chip cake. I say let them eat cake. Some fast food chains are much better than others when it comes to coming up with tasty desserts that appeal to a wide customer base. The sweet treats sometimes seem like an afterthought at many restaurants, but McDonald's, for example, has had great success going all the way back to its classic and discontinued McDonald Land cookies. McDonald's success with desserts continued with its apple pie, soft serve sundae, and McFlurry. The same cannot be said for KFC and its attempt to offer popular popular desserts. The chicken-centric chain does offer a tasty chocolate chip cookie, but it's hard to completely mess up a classic treat to the point of not wanting to eat it. Well, the chocolate chip cake from KFC is a different matter. This dessert is a round bunt cake with icing and contains 300 calories per serving. Wow. Probably the best thing about this cake is that it will serve up to six people, but the question is, will you be able to find six people who want to eat it? This is a chocolate cake after all, so there will probably be a few takers for KFC's take on cake. However, this hasn't stopped it from being one of the KFC items you should never order. In the end, it really just comes down to the math. Even one slice of KFC's chocolate chip cake isn't nearly good enough to justify the calorie and carbohydrate totals you'd have to accept. Secret Recipe Fries Can anyone guess the secret ingredient? You probably should be wary of any secret recipe menu item, especially from a fast food chain. You know, uh, our secret recipe is, uh, a secret. However, KFC's marketing strategy is largely built around its secret blend of herbs and spices that it's kept under lock and key for so long. Maybe the fast food chain deserves a little latitude when it comes to secret recipes. KFC started offering its secret recipe french fries in 2020, but it seems like you should be asking why the fast food chain decided to do this at all. KFC squandered whatever latitude it had by bringing up its secret recipe french fries. Apparently, part of the reason that the fast food chain decided to offer for them was the desire to make french fries that look a lot like little pieces of fried chicken. However, it's important to point out that these are not chicken fries. These are just standard potato fries. The difference is that they supposedly have a secret. Like KFC's famous chicken, these secret recipe fries are made with the same 11 herbs and spices customers are used to getting when they order the chicken. Many customers probably want a little bit more of a flavor contrast between their chicken and their french fries, and this helps explain this menu items 
has poor showing. Grilled Chicken Sandwich. Do you have a skinless grilled chicken breast? Maybe the fast food chain should consider changing its moniker from Kentucky Fried Chicken to Kentucky Grilled Chicken to give its image a boost and conform more to modern tastes. However, if KFC is going to stay true to itself while trying to go the grilled chicken route, it's going to have to do better than the very mediocre grilled chicken sandwich it's been offering customers. It shouldn't be all that surprising if a hamburger chain offers a chicken sandwich that's mediocre or worse. KFC <laughs> <laughs> however, has made chicken its specialty, and it's been rather successful at it. You would expect the fast food chain to offer a decent chicken sandwich, whether the sandwich is fried or grilled. The most common problem with grilled chicken sandwiches is that they often end up being dry and rubbery, then moist or juicy. Yikes, that's a recipe for disappointment. Mayonnaise and other toppings can help with this problem, but not enough to keep this KFC grilled chicken sandwich off the list of items you should never order. Fried chicken sandwiches with their oil-soaked crispy be goodness or delicious almost by default. However, a restaurant has to do some work to make a grilled chicken sandwich something people want to order, and it looks like KFC didn't put in the work to make this happen, so it's suffering the consequences. Chicken Pot Pie You just graduated pie school, bitch. Sorry I said bitch. I'm just really worked up. The blend of chicken, vegetables, and gravy topped by a flaky crust is almost the definition of comfort food. Just stick your fork in and enjoy. A slice or two of hot chicken pot pie on a brisk fall evening is popular for good reason. This is why it's such a shame that KFC's version is one of those items you should never order. That is sad. KFC exists to sell chicken that tastes so good people want to keep eating it. Expectations for their chicken pot pie were understandably high, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, we're not met. What went wrong with the fast food chain's chicken pot pie is a question that deserves an answer. To start with, the pie contains 25 grams of saturated fat, which tops your total daily allowance. The savory meal also piles on the salt. While it's true this item contains a fair amount of protein, it's very difficult to justify ordering the pot pie for this reason. The hefty amount of calories, fat, and salt in the pie means you should really fast the rest of the day to avoid going way over your fat and sodium allowance. While it's true that salt is probably the most commonly used spice, and it does enhance the flavor of so many foods, would it kill KFC and the other fast food chains to cool it with the salt just a bit? Wouldn't the pot pie and KFC's chicken taste almost as good with just a little less salt? Although it would be nice if the fast food chain would consider lowering the salt content, don't hold your breath. Instead, save your breath and just don't order KFC's chicken pot pie. Trust me, bro. Stick around, leave a comment, tap, or click on another great video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.